Hi, Adam Bazaljad here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, how to stop pushing the golf ball to the right, left of course for the left-handed player, frequently accompanied by sweeping hooks. We'll have a look at that, show you what it is, frequent causes, three drills, I'm sure will help you. Briefly, if you're new to this channel, would love it if you'd subscribe, help us build momentum, bring you free content. Also at the App Store, Scratch Golf Academy, wonderful app, all sorts of training tools, warm-up tools, it's free to you, hope you'll check it out. Amateur golfer on the left, Adam Scott on the right, so if we look at Adam coming into impact, beautiful body rotation, we get him down there where the club's about parallel to the ground, you can see that he is headed right down the target line, the push is the player that's swinging too far from the inside so there'll be a predisposition to just push the ball to the right or if the face rolls too much you could get significant draw it would also be fairly common for this player to pick the ball pretty clean this is kind of a low to high sort of an impact the other thing that you'll see a lot with this sort of an impact or this sort of a golfer if you like is an early extension of the hips just watch the hips push forward a bit there and that is part of the reason usually why the ball pushes to the right now hitting out to the right as we touched on is almost always associated with early extension that's the pushing of the hips towards the target line try it for yourself if you had a bucket of water and you were going to splash it down the target line or you decided, no, I'm going to throw it out here to the right, you see how your hips would react. So it's almost always associated with that. I want to show you very briefly on video, though, a camera angle you don't normally see. It'll introduce a principle that's really going to push us through these drills at the remainder of the video. Well, a free offer for you. There's a link below this video on my three-part video series, Solid Strike Formula. Lots of content about becoming a good iron player. I hope you'll pick that up at the end of the video. It's free. Justin Rose on the left. Going to stop him as he's coming into impact. Julieta Granada, former LPGA player there on the right. Now, what I want you to notice is that the handle of the club, or you could say the, the lead hand, by the time they hit it, is beginning to arc inwards or around the player. Watch Julieta there. See the hands working around the body? The club is still inside the ball target line, but the handle of the club should be working left. If you're working the club out to the right, the whole club, you will be in the push category. Now, before we launch into our drills, just very briefly, two common reasons, probably the two most common I see why people do this. Swing plane gets too vertical coming down. If you're athletic enough, you'll fight that. Try to get this way and frequently you'll overdo it and wind up with your hips moving forward, club going to the right. Less frequently, but sometimes someone has the club so de-lofted they may not be aware of it, their grip strong or whatever, their natural attempt to add loft produces the same sort of effect. So make sure you're not in those categories. Let's hit our drills. Drill number one is a hockey image. I don't know much about hockey, but let's say there's a, a wall, or in this case, a golf bag there. As I understand it, you split hand, and when you slap that thing, you'd want to feel like you hit the entire shaft of the hockey, hockey stick against the bag. Pushers invariably would hit the handle first, leaving a space there. So get your own golf club, split hand it maybe, club head will be off the ground. Get that club head caught up to you again, handles getting closer to you when you do that. Number two, that's a great image as you work on stuff. Number two, I've got a short iron. Let's accentuate the feeling that as I go through, I stay bent forward, but bent forward as I turn. So I'm going to feel I turn, the club stays very low and goes right around me like that. Not saying that's perfect, we need some hip extension. But as we've said earlier, that happens too early for the pusher, so we need to stay over it and accentuate feeling the handle going low and around you. Just take a little nine on. Again, not a perfect finish in real life, but the absolute antidote to what you're probably struggling with. Final drill, it's a feel-oriented drill. I've got a club, or it could be an alignment rod, a club shaft sticking out of the ground, maybe six, seven yards in front of me. Here's the goal, aim at the rod directly. Take something, I've got the five iron here, relatively little loft, it's easier to curve the ball. I'm gonna make less than a full swing, and what I'm going to feel like is while I'm aimed at the stick, I'm going to make a swing that starts the ball left of the stick. 
and at least to some extent curves the ball back that way a little bit. Certainly going to feel the handle going left. It might look just a little bit out to win. That's actually the goal. Let's have a go here. Yeah, I could really feel that club peeling around me. Ball started left of the stick, curved back just a bit. A great way, have some fun with this thing. Hey, you're trying to learn to play better golf. Don't just bang away trying to hit neutral shots all day. Play around a little bit, build some skill and some feel. Hope you enjoyed this video.